Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. So we are on the last event of the month and we finally have the final gacha that belongs to Makina and it's time to go all kawawa on, on this gacha pool because that evolution illustration is just oh my goodness. So if you recall when Kanami's Gacha came around, and you know, Kaname is wearing the same school uniform as Makina. I was saying that, you know, Kaname's illustration was kind of missing something <laughs> because the, uh, how, how would I say it? The, the, the way the illustration was cropped for the episode play was kind of suggestive that there was actually more to it and well with Makina's full illustration out and not showing any mercy to Maki Maki at all we can safely say that you know Kaname initially had uh, I guess the same treatment but it's just that maybe they decided to hold back a bit on the Onechan character <laughs> But you know, we've seen Kaname being sexualized on the fashionable Macross illustrations and all this uh, within, within the past few years. Um, you know, ever since they decided to make Kaname into that kind of figure. But, you know, um, I'm just glad, I'm just glad that, you know, there, there is some kind of censorship behind Kaname's. Um, I guess uh, not so loud spoken personality <laughs> within the Uta Macross universe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Kaname fans are definitely well aware um, of how, um, I guess, <laughs> hot Kaname can be uh, in the fashionable Macross uh, scene. Anyways, uh, enough about this. Well, well, let's dive into the gacha itself and take a look at Makina's uh, brand new episode plate. And yes, look at that lovely illustration, you know, uh, among the the sakura blossoms <laughs> behind the background. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's take a look at the episode plate. So 3,864 total score. Definitely lower than uh, Min Mei's episode plate in terms of stats. Um, pretty well balanced stats all around, but the main focus is on soul and of course charm, same as Min Mei, because well the current event song requires stats from these two um, stats. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, uh, center skill units to units life is boosted by forty percent up. So uh, once again, you know the six star episode plates has have definitely shown that they are no longer being used as a center position episode plate um, you know just because that the, the episode plates are no longer treated well with um, decent or good center skills uh, and of course active skills as well so 40% definitely not the best boost and we don't really see a lot of life boosting abilities nowadays so it's kind of interesting that they have actually brought this back um, so let's move on to the second page and take a look. Life recovery of 30%. So not the best healing that we've ever gotten. Um, of course, 50% is the best out there. But those belong to older episode plates. Um, so life skill. Utahime score repeat level 5. So basically, um, as I say Utahime and you look at this, you know why is that so because the life skill only works for makina um so at the 30 second mark for seven seconds your score is boosted by 100 percent up so yes this episode play can only be used by makina i'm okay with it because it is definitely an illustration uh worth the collect, uh, collective investment of your sinking stones uh even though you may not be a makina fan but i just gotta say the 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 way this fully evolved illustration is drawn uh, has a lot of love for Makina. Um, the, the whole composition of the episode plates image is very well put together. The background looks lovely. Um, her pink hair is not overpowered by the sakura trees. The school, you know, school uniform fits the, the, the name of the costume uh, which is um, Sweet Days. 
Uh, yep, so that's that's basically the name of Makina School Uniform Sweet Days. Um, you know, aside from the fact of the a bit lustrous and you know, a suggestive style of post. <laughs> overall, the the illustration is lovely. Uh, it has a, a wonderful, wonderful feeling of, um, you know, Sakura viewing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, especially if, I guess, if you are still in high school and all that kind of stuff. Should Kanami be in the high school? She is technically around 20 plus years old. <laughs> Um, and Makina is definitely the next oldest um, Valkyrie member. Makina is 18 years old, if you guys don't didn't know. Uh, while well, Kaname is around 20 plus. So, I think she was 21. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, Kaname is definitely the oldest diva among uh, all the Macross characters that are singers so far. Um, yeah, if, if you're not talking about, you know, um, light speed or light years difference you know it's just because light years is basically a measurement of distance not time so um, even though they might be in different time periods uh, uh, but they're all like different parts of the galaxy so technically they might all still be within the same time period but it's just that you know it takes time to travel from one light year to another light year so yeah anyways <laughs> In Puta Macross Universe, all of them are within the same time zone, technically. Uh, they just, you know, project their images across the universe. Uh, and then they are able to perform with each other. That's why Milane is able to meet up with her uh, great-niece, great Mirage. So, yeah, so that's, that's, that's a really wonderful thing to have within the Macross franchise, where you basically have your... your your older generations meeting up with the younger generation, but yet they are technically around the same age. Okay, enough babbling about all this sci-fi nonsense. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the last page to see whether Makina's episode play is hiding something special under that um, screen uniform. <laughs> so, <laughs> sadly to say, no special notes attached to this episode play, um, but you know... Um, if you're a Makina fan, definitely go ahead and pull this episode plate. I am definitely tr gonna try and at least attain its 5 star form that I can use a rare up star to fully evolve it because I don't want to spend too much singing stones on this gacha pool. Um, the illustration is definitely worth the investment. Uh, even though you may not be a Makina fan, it is it's just you can see that there's a lot of love put into this work of the illustration. Um, it's pre evolved form and it's fully evolved form. It's just very lovely. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in terms of the stats usefulness, um, it's pretty decent. Um, definitely one of the more powerful newer plates out there. Definitely not uh, as high as Min Mei's latest episode plate. Um, in terms of skill wise, it is definitely a very powerful life skill support episode plate for Makina. Definitely, if you are a Makina fan, it is definitely worth the investment uh, to add this episode plate to your collection. It's gonna be one of a power, one of the more, more powerful episode plates for Makina. Um, one is, once it's gotten its Kira effect, you know, plus five luck value, um, full luck leaf note slotted, you know, then you can go ahead and try and break high score achievements uh, on the episode plates of this particular series which is all the blue or the soul songs out there for Macross Delta at least um, you know that Makina can fully utilize this episode play all right so enough blabbling let's do our well recent tradition of doing gacha videos let's pull the single pool first you know to see whether the bad luck is still currently around from the last video we know that you know the last video was just horrible with luck so, we do get some decent load speeds right there. Alright, no Valkyrie animations, which is expected from, well, a single pool. If we do get a red box out of this one, this, this is a good sign, I guess. So, no red boxes, we're gonna skip this. Um, oh, it's a pretty rare episode play, even though it's a, a common value. So, it seems like we might be heading towards a good pool. I, I emphasize on the might as usual. Um, you know, this, this theory is still under a lot of testing. We've so far did um, roughly about one, 
one and a half months worth of testing so far with all the videos since I've been returning to Utan Across Gacha uh, video contents. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull the afternoon free pool. So yeah, at this point of time that I'm recording, we're just maybe one or a few hours away from the evening gacha uh, reset. So let's just make use of this as well to flush out the, uh, the good luck. Alright, so no loads there. Uh, that's ex is to be expected. Which is okay in my books. So, uh, oh, yeah, we got a common episode plate with lots of quantity on it. So, yeah, that, that, pop, that pool was definitely down in the slums. Alright, we're gonna flush out the good luck uh, this time round with the Super Dimension Gacha. Um, I have enough to do a template pool. So, let's make use of this to get the good luck out. Uh, if this pool gets good episode plates, I think that's fine. We, we do get 5 star episode plates, but you know, like I said in the past, there's always a chance for a 6 star from this gacha as well. So who knows? Alright, let's go with the template pool. Alright, let's see if there's a low, slow load right here. Oh, a pretty decently slow load. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Do we have four or five? Nope. So a pretty mediocre Valkyrie animation. One red box on the first bling. Alright, and it retains. So it seems like this pool is gonna end up pretty unlucky, which is good. So it gives us a good chance to get something nice at least. Um, for Makina's actual gacha. That's what I'm hoping for. So yeah, so I guess in Basara's gacha, or rather Minmei's gacha, I did it the opposite way. So we kind of wasted the luck <laughs> through the super dimension pool. But that oh 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 is this is this actually one of Makina's new episode plates? Oh, apparently not. Okay, so we are continuing the trend of um, Maki Ray love from the last episode. So even though the last episode was uh, Min Mei's featured gacha, we kind of pulled out quite a bit of um. Makina and Reina, I guess. Or was it Basara's gacha? I, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> you can remind me in the comment section down below. Because uh, I'm just too tired to remember what I actually had in the last few videos. <laughs> to be very honest. Alright, so let's go get down with the actual gist of this video. The template pool. Uh, of course, if I don't get Makina's episode played from Discounted Pool. I'm planning to toss in a few more Singing Stones to try and get her featured episode played because yeah that's how much I actually like the episode played. Um, and yeah I guess it's always nice to have a more powerful episode played for Makina as well considering that she is technically my third uh, third favorite di diva in the whole franchise. Because um, you know I like Reina. Reina is my second diva. Um, and you cannot get rid of Makina, you know, when you have Reina. <laughs> then followed behind Makina is prob uh, is definitely Milane. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. If only Mirage was a diva though, then she would be my number four. Okay, so we do get some decent load speed right there. Okay. One, two, three. No, four, five. So yeah, pretty mediocre luck. Oh, no red, no red boxes on the first blink. Okay, so it seems like the bad luck is still ongoing for a while. But you know, as as usual, if we do get episode plates with costume points for Makina's new costume, I think that's the most bare minimum that you can expect. You know, for at least some decent results. There we go, we have the episode plate with the featured costume points. Oh, we get to evolve it, that's even fantastic. Okay, so no evolution on the red box, but we do get... If I'm not wrong, this is a new episode plate with the costume points. I might be wrong though, because it doesn't say new. Oh, apparently it's an old episode plate. Ah, that's fine. Okay, so... No more discounted template pool, we're gonna go in with the serious stuff right now. So I, luckily enough, I had some singing stones left over from Ranka and Cheryl's 7-star episode plate 
pools, you know, since I've invested into singing stone packs during that time period and I still got a bunch left over, so let's do this. I don't know how many I'm gonna use, but you know, if I do get a single copy of the five star episode plate, I'm gonna end it right there. Because I would like to leave some singing stones for the upcoming seven star gacha. Um, so if you guys have not checked out all the information regarding the uh, recent Air Walkure 3D Live tour, um, you can check out the photos I uploaded on my Facebook page. The links in the description down below. Uh, make sure you scroll through the page for all the old posts regarding the live stream. Um, so yeah, um, so next month Reina is getting her seven star episode plate. Um, you know, so. It's the key art number two for uh, my cross crossover life 2019, where you know the Walkerade members are all wearing like roller skates and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, pretty fantastic. All right, so let's do this. Another template pool at the regular rate. Okay, come home to me, Makina. Let's go. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> oh, that is not good at all. Okay, we do get two red boxes on the second bling. So, I just can hope that it evolves. No evolution on the first red box. We do get a lot of Maki Maki love from just three episodes on this second pool. Okay, plenty of Maki Maki love. If only that red box will evolve to the future episode plate, and that would be a done deal. Here we go. No evolution. Oh, oh! It would have been great if it evolved. Oh. Well, at least Hayate gets free. Uh. <laughs> now, if only I can get my Makina. Anyways, all right. So yeah. So you can tell that the bad luck is starting to really take its toll on my gacha pools. You know, all the good luck has really been absorbed by Ranka and Cheryl. Uh, but you know, that that's 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 how the gacha world works. You you just have something good and then after that it just it turns your soul rotten and dark <laughs> for a very long time. Alright, I'm gonna toss in another template pool. Uh, if 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 it does come out, I'm gonna be very happy. If not, I think I might just end it here and um, just hope for future Makina birthday gachas to feature this episode plate again. Uh, you know, gotta be patient. You know, eventually the waifus will come home. So let's do this. One last template pool. We can only hope. Come on, there we go. That loading is there. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, golden orb! Can it be? Two red boxes on the first bling. A rainbow box. Here we go, here we go. Alright, we're getting. Ooh, ooh! Oh! <laughs> It is not the new one, but it's definitely another one of Makina's most woo, lustrous episode plates. Okay. At least we do get a 5 star episode plate. I mean, the red box might evolve. Who knows? Lots of Makina love them. Okay, no evolution there. Yeah, this whole pool, this whole template pool seems to be all Makina except for like that one Hayate and um, what's his name again? <laughs> the Mega Nega guy. <laughs> I cannot remember his name. Uh, oh well. Uh, anyways, should I should I go for another another one? I'm very tempted right now. Very very tempted. You know what? You know what? It's 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 for Maki Maki. It is for Maki Maki. I need that episode plate. We're gonna go with it. Here we go. Here we go. We're retaining a bit of that good luck from this pool. Hopefully, we do get some load there. Here we go. One, two, three. 
Okay. Mediocre Valkyrie animation. Oh boy, no red boxes on the first bling. Two red boxes, so hopefully it evolves. No evolution on the first one. Okay. Let's keep moving. Alright, we definitely have quite a bit of costume points right now. So we could, or uh, at least I can um, unlock Makina's school uniform. Oh, the red box did not evolve. I pressed too fast. Oh, come on. Oh, at least one of the older plates evolved. Okay, I'm tr I'm just trying to cheer myself up by being positive, but you know. Oh, seeing my money go down the drain just like this. I mean, some of you have definitely tossed in more during the 7 star episode play, um, period. Uh, I can feel your pain. I've gone through that myself. So, and now I I, I feel like the, the curse that you guys put on me during that episode is finally <laughs> taking its toll on me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. This is for this is for the maki maki. Come on, all my singing stones, take it all, take it all. Oh my goodness, here we go. So much for saving singing stones for Ray Ray. Here we go. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh no. Oh no. This. Is horrendous. Let that red box evolve. Come on. The best for last. No. <laughs> no. I'm sad. I am very sad right now. <laughs> oh my god. 2000 singing stones and no. Well, not really. 2000 is 1008. Was it 1008? I mean, 300 plus. Yeah, it was 1008, right? I remember I had 2000 over. How in the world did. Oh, I guess I spent 2003. Oh, see. I'm just so depressed that I can't even remember how many singing stones I've used up. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode on a good note once again with the guaranteed 5 star pool. Here we go. Uh. Uh, maybe it might evolve my pretty good Ray Ray episode plate that I got in the last episode. Who knows? Come on, make Daddy happy. Oh, a direct rainbow box. Interesting. Hey! Okay. So, really, the last episode and this episode has really been a focus on Makina and Reina. Oh, it evolved! Okay. That's nice. Now to see if this episode plate is actually useful. Okay. And it's pretty decent. It has a combo bonus skill though. So that's not too bad. Definitely would have been nice if it was the previous Reyna episode plate that I actually got in the last episode. So, anyway guys! Uh, Sadly to say, the dry spell is still around. I have to force out a few 5 star episode plates, you know, to just <laughs> appease my depression <laughs> from not getting the featured gacha. But I, like I said, like I said, it's it's kind of normal. Um, once you've gotten very good pulls, you know, like one of those godly pulls in once in a while, um, it, it just happened to um, occur with my favorite waifu, so Ranka. So I'm pretty happy that I got Ranka's episode plate, uh, even though it did not evolve. I got Cheryl's episode plate as well, so I got to see both of them in the school uniform in a perform lion. So that was a pretty good blessing. Um, so yeah, anyways, I think I have more than enough points and episode orbs to unlock Makina's school uniform, um, and I'm definitely Kaname's as well. Um, so. If you guys did better in your own pool, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, and of course, who do you want to see next to attain their high school uniform? Um, definitely looking forward towards Milane's and Reyna's. 
uh, personally for myself, I know a lot of you who are Mikumo fans are looking forward to Mikumo's school uniform version as well. Um, Freya already has got hers. Technically, she had that Sailor Fuku school uniform, so it was a pretty different style compared to Kaname and Makina. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, I really wonder what Mikumo will wear. Will she wear a kindergarten school uniform? <laughs> After all, she is three years old. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's discuss what uniforms will the rest of the missing divas have. Uh, you know, that would be very interesting if... Uh, Mikumo will end up wearing a kindergarten screen uniform. <laughs> and of course, do all the wonderful stuff that all the YouTubers require. Like, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross update video. So yeah, we're going to talk about April very soon. Till then, bye!